ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವರ್ಗ್ಯೋಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತ ಸದಾಹೃದಿ ಗೋಪಾಲವಿಂಶತಿ ಅನುಭವ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಡಿವೈನ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ವಿತ್ ಲಲಿತಂ ಇಟ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಬಲ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಈ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಕೌ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೃಂದಾವನ್ ಈ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಡಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋಪಾ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಸ್ ಈ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಆಫ್ಟನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಸೂಪ್ರಾ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಈ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಅವತಾರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅವತಾರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಶಿಕನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ enjoys portraying him portraying krishna as an infant as a baby as a child as a boy as a lad and as a pre adolescent uh, youth so the various pranks the leelas are so beautifully pictureized and visualized enjoyed and portrayed in this gopala vimshati especially the third slokam the infant kannan suckling the milk and the life of putana putana was sent by kamsa the uh, krishna's uncle kamsa wanted to kill the cowherd boy who is somewhere there in kokulam not knowing very where which child it is so the demon putana the evil putana she comes in the guise of a mother yashoda yashoda like form so that krishna would be misled to believe that she herself is the mother or the baby sitter so that's the beautiful slokam let's enjoy amnaya gandhirudita spurita dharoshtam asra vilekshana manukshana mandahasam gopala dimbhava pusham kuhana jananyah pranastanandhayam avaimi param pumamsam parama purusham with the fragrance of vedam in his breath he says amnaya gandhi rutita or ruchira there are two versions amnaya gandhi rutita spurita dharoshtam asra vilakshana manukshana mandahasam here yashoda yashoda's vesham in the guise of yashoda like the mother yashoda putana has come and she wants to offer her milk and the poison which is smeared on her breast when he sucks the milk when 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 krishna is breastfed he would be killed by the poisonous breast so by touching the poisonous milk from her breast he would get killed so that was the intent now this cheshtitam this childhood leela is so beautifully pictureized amnaya gandhi rutita he has the fragrance of the vedas and he has the fragrance of the vedas when he breathes in and breathes out spurita dharoshtam he is crying maybe because he is hungry the baby is is reclining either in the cradle or on the floor so he is seeing someone passing by in the corridor and he is hungry so he knows that this is putana who has come to kill him so he his avataram his purpose of the avataram is to kill the asuras and the demons sent by kamsa to get rid of the burden from the earth 
so someone is coming his way so she, he needs to invite her so he starts crying spurita dharostam because of the cry because of the child's cry the the upper lip and the lower lip simply quiver tudi tudi kiran quiver and the and asra vilakshanam asra vilakshanam means because of the copious tears welled in the eyes and rolling down the cheeks the the eyes are so red with full of tears anukshana mandahasam at the same time in the next second he has a smile mandahasam a impish charming smile and that's the nature of any baby one second they would cry next second they would smile gopal dimba vapusham this the one which has got the rupam the baby which has got the rupam of the cowherd boy he is also in a, in the guise in the vesham just like the demon evil putana is in the guise of yashoda the mother this boy this baby who is shriman narayana himself he is in the guise of a cowherd child baby gopal dimba vapusham kuhana jananya the one the pay the de- evil the demon the rakshasi who has come in the role of a mother in the vesham of a mother pranastanandayam parampumamsam avaimi pranastanandayam along with the breast milk he drank the prana also the life also he drank the kannan parampumamsam avaimi hence i get to know i get to realize i get to understand that he is parama purushan himself vedanta desika says so he says i visualize and i i i see i enjoy the kutti kannan the gopala as the supreme lord the param parama purushan who has taken the avataram who has taken this roopam of the cowherd kid cowherd child in this ayer kulam in this cowherd family he is not an ordinary baby come on the moment he looked at that yashoda roopam putana in the corridor he didn't want to let her go he had to get her attention so he cried the moment he cried putana was wondering whether she should step in if she steps in and because of the cry somebody might come and catch her she might get caught so she was worried whether he or she would not come in or come in when he, she was thinking that our sarvagnyan the one who knows everything omniscient krishna she, he knows that she cannot go she has to come in because she has to get killed so he stopped crying and he started smiling next moment because he he wants her inside please come so when she when he smiled she was hooked <coughs> she knew that he has been misled he has he has been he has mistaken me that he is i am his mother he has believed me that i am his mother so uh, his sweet breath carried the fragrance of the vedas he smiled in between his crying moments his smile was because what he would do next with the deceitful putana what shall i do next <coughs> so when she came near he he smiled at her and he lifted his hands so she picked him up placed him on his on her lap and started holding his face near her breast so that he can suck the the poisonous milk from her breast 
but he sucked her life through the very same act of responding to her deceitful nature, her cunning invitation to breastfeed him. He drank in one gulp Putana's milk and the life and he blessed her. Definitely, she came offering her poisonous milk to Krishna. And even if it is poison, if she comes exclusively for offering to the Lord, he takes it. He has got no difference. You, you offer poison, but devotedly, sincerely, with, one, with only that purpose, he would take. This is not an ordinary child. He is Parama Purushana, Param Pumamsam Avaimi, Krishna uh, Vedanta Desika mentioned. So, Amnaya Gandhi, the children derive their strength by crying. Balanam Rodanam Balam. Krishna's crying is Vedam. His strength is Vedam. And his breath is Vedam. It has the fragrance of Vedam. Shruti Saurabham Amnaya Gandhi. Children derive their strength by crying. One moment he cries as if he is going to fear something, danger from Putana. Next moment he smiles because he is playing with a game with Putana. Asra Vilekchanam Anukchanam Mandahasam. His smile is so captivating. He is, he is Gopala Dimba Vapusham. He has got the form of a child. He is also deceitful, taking the cowherd boy Rupam. He is Parama Purushan. Yadavabhyutayam says, the Lord sucked Putana's life and gave her moksham through the divine contact of his lips with her breast, even if it is poisonous. She is going to have no more births. Those who reflect on this sacred lilai of Primal will also be blessed with the bone of freedom with no more breast milk. From, from, with, from the cycles of birth and death granted by this Parama Purushan. So, the subject of this slokam is Putana Samhara. She takes the role of Yashoda to feed the baby with her poisonous milk. Swami Desikan mentioned, Kuhana Jananyaha Pranas Tanandayam Param Pumamsam Avaimi. I begin to understand, I recognize that this breastfeeding baby is the Parama Purushan because he sucked out the cunning, deceitful Putana's milk and life at the same time. Kuhana Janani. Putana was sent by Kamsan, as I mentioned, to kill Kutikanan. She assumed an appearance like Yashoda and approached the child lying in the, in the hall, in the cradle. Putana is Maya. She is Prakriti. The, the, the Prakriti, the Maya, which, which simply engulfs us. We are caught by the Prakriti. Because of the Prakriti Sambandham and Triguna Sambandham, we are behaving the way we do because of our Karma Vasana. It hides the Swarupam of Bhagavan from us. Bhagavata Swarupa Tirodha Nagari. The Lord alone can destroy this Maya. Who else can destroy this Prakriti except Him? Param Pumam Samantra Kova Mayam Chintyat. So the Parama Purushan makes the poison of Samsaram powerless. He is the Mrityu for the Maya. By destroying this Visham of Maya, of this Putana, from us, the Maya from us, he grants the Jeevan, the Chetanam, the Moksha Samrajya. What a beautiful way in which Anbil Gopalachar has interpreted in a Vedantic manner. Such a wonderful sloka and beautiful visual, visual imagery by Vedanta Desika, the Kavitarkika Simma. And so beautifully he has picturized and the, the way he has said, the spirit of our Acharyas ought to be grasped here. He was indeed Paramapurushan. The Putana episode is enough, will suffice for us. 
his form, his behavior, his intention ought to convince us to look at him as a simple cowherd child. Then only we can go near him like Putana. Then only we can enjoy him in full and benefit from that association. Do not fail to exploit his saulabhyam, shaushilyam, the simplicity and the free mixing which is same in the case of our Acharya also who have stooped down to be with us, to bless us with their Kataksham so that he and the Acharya would kill the Maya which is in us and grant us Moksha Samrajya by taking the Maya out of us. Adiyan, Acharya Trivadigale Sharanam Kavitarkika Simhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkatesha Yavedanta Guravenamaha Danyosmi